Hello everybody and thanks for checking out my video. Today I'll be reviewing the Casio G-Shock Mudman Rally Timer model GW9010-1 and as you can see with the packaging uh, Casio has been going on the last few models that I've gotten a cube design with a black box with red writing and red lining. I think it looks very attractive and opening up the box reveals the manual was the first thing that you see um, for those that want to check out the manual online if you go to Casio's website you could download the module number 3150 and this has got to be the thickest manual that I've seen Casio come out with yet on a watch um, it's not because of all the functions uh, going through the entire book here it's just because they've added more languages so I wouldn't get too uh, nervous as far as learning this watch it's actually fairly easy uh, inside the manual gives you the warranty card and information on atomic timekeeping and inside the box underneath the instruction manual is the Casio bronze tin that they release it's got the red line across as well just like on the box and I like the tops that they've been putting on these it's got raised lettering on the G indented lettering around it just a sharp looking packaging I just noticed I've been mentioning in most of my reviews that they've just been getting better and better with their packaging which I think is just sharp marketing personally and inside the tin of course is the G-Shock and this is definitely a unique looking G-Shock to the line Mudman's been out for a number of years uh, it started off as a very large watch and it's gotten a little smaller over the years. Um, in this case, it's gotten slightly, slightly heavier over the last version that they had put out. But basically, very unique design. This is not a face that you've seen on uh, many other Mudman that they put out there. Uh, around the display area, if you take notice, they use kind of a honeycomb design try to get close enough and I apologize about any glare there but if you look in the lettering there there's like a honeycomb design to the solar panels and what I think that they did that for was because the previous solar panels that they were putting out there tended to have like a blue tint to it now it kind of stays gray so uh, I think that there was uh, definite reasoning behind how they did that watch and the other thing that I notice is Everything is symmetrical on this watch. Uh, in the previous G-Shock lines, they, the lines just seemed a little scattered or they had ovals in the top of the line. If you go to Casio's website and look at the previous G-Shocks, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, the design of the watch itself pretty much holds true to the what they've been doing. Um, in this case, they used a red metal underneath the resin bezel, red writing on the top, white on the bottom, gray writing on the function areas around the buttons and on the back back case reveals the Mudman mold that they uh, use for the design and the art and the thing that's good about the Mudman line is the grips on the bottom of the back case. The grips kind of just stay on your wrist really well. Um, again, this is a mud resistant watch, so if you look at the buttons, there's nothing revealing the inside of the watch itself. There's a cover over it. The good thing about that is obviously there's nothing that gets inside the watch itself that could hurt it. The only pain about it is the buttons can tend to be a little bit harder to press than the normal watches that you use. And then, of course, they have the light button on the front here with the same exact thing. So there's basically no way that grit can end up in the middle of this watch. Now, going to the display itself, you got obviously the time and the seconds. You got the day, month, and day of the month. And you have the center G. And what the center G is, is if it's blank, it means it did not sync the night before. If you have the G there, it means that it's synced with the automatic timekeeping. Uh, this is a six-band watch, which means it links up or syncs wirelessly throughout six towers throughout the world. So um, you got some in Europe. You have two in Japan. You have one in America. And, um, you know, pretty much they have a very, very long-range uh, radio signal. So every night, uh, pretty much between 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, these watches automatically try to sync to the uh, to the time signals uh, they go 
once an hour for five hours. If it doesn't get the sink, then you don't get the J. If uh, you get the sink, then you got it there and basically it just constantly stays calibrated to the correct time signals. Now, uh, to the left and the right of the G, you'll notice a, li a little ticking here. What the ticking signifies is every 10 seconds, these dots either light up or they blank out. So for one second, two, three, you'll notice that to the left, to the right, it'll fill up. Then when another 10 seconds is gone, you'll see that it empties out. Underneath the numbers up there, you'll see that it's got the alarm signals. And what that means is if the snooze alarm or hourly chime is signaled off, there's a little dot underneath them. And on the right side, you get your charge on the solar. So you'll see it's either low, medium, or high. When it's high, all functions are full. When it's low, uh, you get limited functionality. Timekeeping on these is really good. So uh, let me take you through the features on the watch. Like I said earlier, it is a rally timer. So the first feature that they bring you to is the rally function. And it's an interesting function. It's uh, primarily made for racing. And what it does is when you push on the button to go, you could set it up to where it's uh, either manually, however much, uh, however, man however many minutes you want it to go. Um, I set it at one for the purposes of demonstration, but basically when you click off, you can go five, ten minutes, a half hour, up to an hour, they have five hours. And what it does is it times off on a timer how long you have set for that race to go on. While at the same time, when that goes off, the stopwatch goes off automatically too. So when you beat your time, you can record that. And it automatically, when you stop it, it gets recorded into the next function that I'll show you shortly. Uh, another cool thing about this is it does have a, uh, a beeping, like on your mark, it's at go type of a beeper. And I'm going to show you here right now. And as it winds down for the start, you're going to notice that it blinks a couple, uh, every couple of seconds until you go. It's got an interesting beep. And then the same exact thing is going to happen when the minute is up. So I'll show you right here. And like I said, as you can see, it's counting the time up. Now what's happening is the numbers on the left and the right of the G are counting for a tenth of a second. So if you end up stopping it at some point before the rally timer is up, you'll know how many seconds and how many tenths of a seconds, and it's also going with the number that's going very quick here. And it counts down from 30 seconds to 20 seconds to 10 seconds to 5 seconds. It kind of gives you a warning that the clock is almost up. And you got 10 seconds left. And then it's going to let off an interesting alarm. Now what happens is the stopwatch continues to go. So this way if you end up going over the allotted time, you could still go. But it's just letting you know that the timer was up. And what happens is when you stop here, it saves the time in there and then you could reset the timer. So the next function is to record. So I had stopped it at 1 minute and 13 seconds. The next is your world time. You can go up and down with the numbers on the left on the right of the uh, display. I always keep it on LA time. And another thing I do like about this watch if you notice is when you press for the modes it scrolls over on the display and it's got one two three four alarms you have a snooze alarm and then the hourly time signal and the nice thing about the alarms is you can actually set it by the day or the month or the week however often you want it to go off so if you have specific appointments you can set it off in there you have a stopwatch that goes up for 24 hours a 24 hour countdown timer and when you start the countdown timer it stays here so you know how many minutes you wanted it to go, but it starts counting down automatically. And that's the watch. So I want to thank you very much for watching my video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you receive it, enjoy.